So there are a lot of different question types that you can use. Um, most of you are going to use multiple choice. So I'm going to do a couple examples. I'm going to add a block here and I'm just going to say example questions. So um, multiple choice I've already showed you, but basically you click to write the answer. And then here, when you're clicked into the question, you can see that there's different number choices here. Um, you can also allow multiple answers. You probably shouldn't. I don't actually can't think of anybody that you should allow multiple responses, um, but you can click this here and make sure it says allow one answer. And then I could say that I want five choices. Um, and then you can also edit multiple. So you could edit multiple answer items all at one time. I'm not gonna do that. Um, I could click use suggested choices. And there's actually a bunch of Likert type scales in here. So it could be strongly disagree to strongly agree. You can see here that there's yes, no, true, false, below average, worse, better, a ton of different options here. So you can always use those. Um, so for example, how accurately it changes all of them. Isn't that handy? Um, and so if you're using multiple choice, then you can do different formats. You can do a list, you can do a drop down. And so then they can click the one that they would like to use. You can do a select box. So they have to just click which one they choose. So you get to choose what you'd like to do there. If you add requirements, do not force a response. You could request a response, um, but I'm going to turn requirements off. I think that's the easiest. Uh, and then you can, um, I have a different video that went through recoding values. So make sure that you refer to that if you need to. Um, so that is multiple choice. And I'm just going to put an example here. I'll just write multiple choice. And I'm going to change this to, let's see. I'll just leave it in list form. Okay, so now I'm going to do a new question. So text entry, this is where you're giving them an option to respond to anything here. So I did this as an example for age. So um, you might do a manipulation check. How do you, uh, or let's say, how did the video make you feel? And you'll probably do multiple choice for manipulation check. I'm just giving you an example. So you can go to this rich content editor and add things like videos, um, which there's a different video for. You can add um, all sorts of different things like graphics and tables and all sorts of things there. So that would be a text entry. Um, and again, there's different responses here. So you can do text type, you can add requirements. Uh, now, text graphic is the, the similar, it's the same way. So um, this is, doesn't actually have an entry. That's the only difference here. So this is just a description. Um, and so that is uh, if you wanted to have like a header or something like that. And then if we go to a matrix table. All right, so for this matrix table, you could choose to use this. It's just a matter of personal preference for um, how it's laid out and how you think people are gonna read it. So I could use the same questions. Um, so I have my, uh, and some other examples, I use the self-esteem question. So I could say, I'm gonna put this up here in our matrix. So this could be my first statement. Um, and then you can just say, each. Statements below. State your level of agreement. And you should use whatever wording they give you for the survey um, for the questions. So then, my um, question one, we could do the same type of thing where we can, oops, that's not what I meant to do. Here we go. So we could, um, you can include like images if you want to. Uh, you can do all sorts of, of different questions. And then here we could say that our option is um, strongly agree. And this could be, oh, and see it automatically put it in for me. So then we have this strongly agree to somewhat strongly disagree. Um, and so then people would just go in and click which one they agree with. So then you would have a question for each of these lines. Um, and you can add number of statements. So you could do your total five. Remember that you have to have at least five. 
Uh, and then you can do um, the scoring for this as well. So there's that scoring video. Uh, it works very similarly. So you can you could do that instead. The other type of question you might want to use is a slider. Um, so for this one, it works very similarly. So again, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna copy this. So here you would have for each uh, of your statements below, state your level of agreement. For this one, it would be more like um, for each of the statements below, identify how much you agree. And you could say our first choice here is, um, oops, grab this one. There we go. Copy, paste. So you could put your question choice there on the whole. There we go. Satisfied with myself. So for this one, you would end up using. Um, you can click like this suggested statements it's going to give you a um i don't think this is going to apply for a lot of you there's one option something like that uh you can change your scale points so you could say like from one to ten how much do you agree with this statement and you could say one to ten and so it'll change that there um so it's really going to depend on on what your question is and if that makes sense for it. So for this one, it would really be, what would make the most sense would be like for each of the statements below, um, identify how strongly you read from one to 10. So I, again, I don't think most of you are gonna use something like this. You would have to do this for each of the questions, um, but this would be another option. So the majority of you are probably going to use um, multiple choice, you could modify this and spend a little bit more time with it. So you can do things like you can add labels. Um, and so you can add a label here that's like strongly agree to strongly disagree, but it, this tends to be a little bit harder to use. So those are the different question types and hopefully that is everything you need to move forward.